What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're tackling another super popular Chinese takeout recipe. I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious shrimp lo mein. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we're gonna get our prep work done and out of the way. We have some delicious vegetables that we're gonna throw into this lo mein. We've got some yellow onion, baby bok choy, some mushrooms, and a carrot. There's a few things that I really love about making lo mein at home. Most importantly, it's a lot healthier because you know exactly what you're putting into your food. But second, you have the opportunity to really clean out the refrigerator. If there's any additional vegetables that you have in there, this is a great way to use them. So you can totally customize this to whatever vegetables you like or whatever you have on hand. And as you can see here, we're going to work on this carrot. I've already peeled and cleaned the carrot. Now we're going to slice it on a bias or basically at an angle that's going to help us turn this carrot into matchsticks. Nice and easy, guys. You can cut it into whatever shapes or sizes you prefer, but try to make sure they're all about the same size. That way they get tender at the same rate. Once the carrots are prepped, we're gonna move on to the baby bok choy. Nice and simple here as well, guys. We're just gonna cut that stem piece off and throw that in the trash. And then you just wanna chop this into bite-sized pieces. You can make the pieces a little bit larger at the leafy end of the bok choy because obviously it's a lot thinner and it'll cook down faster. This recipe is packed with lots of healthy vegetables. Great meal prep option. Now that our bok choy is prepped, we're going to move on to these shiitake mushrooms. We're just going to make sure that they're nice and clean first and foremost, and then we want to cut them into bite-sized pieces as well, like you see right here. There we go. We got most of our veggies prepped. We got the carrot, the bok choy, the mushrooms. Now it's time for the yellow onion. Give that a nice dice as well. And that, my friends, is a plate full of veggies going into this delicious lo mein today. Now that we got our veggies out of the way, it's time for the star of the show, which is this sauce that's really going to bring this lo mein together. We have ginger and garlic paste, some chicken broth, oyster sauce, low soda medium soy sauce, dark soy sauce, and sesame oil. First and foremost, we're going into a mixing bowl with that chicken broth. Next, we're adding in some cornstarch. This is going to help thicken up our sauce. As always, guys, the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Break out that whisk and mix to combine until the cornstarch is well incorporated into that chicken broth. Whisk it for about 30 seconds or so, and now we're going in with some oyster sauce. This is going to add tons of flavor to the party. If you don't like oysters, guys, don't worry. The sauce doesn't really taste like oysters. It just adds some umami. Next, my friends, we're going in with some dark colored soy sauce. This is going to add some concentrated flavor and some nice color. All of these ingredients can be found in the international section of your grocery store. Now we're going in with some low sodium soy sauce, followed by some sesame oil. A little bit goes a long way with the sesame oil, guys, so you might want to taste as you go and adjust accordingly. Break out the whisk again and mix to combine. Once this warms up and comes to a simmer in our wok, this is gonna thicken up beautifully, which is more traditional for our lo mein sauce. This really brings everything together. Tons of flavor packed into this sauce. Speaking of flavor, we're coming in with the dynamic duo, a little garlic and ginger paste. You can use fresh if you want to, but for this recipe, the ginger paste and the garlic paste work just fine. One of the flavors that really make lo mein from a takeout restaurant pop is that smoky flavor that you get, and that comes from a high heat wok that they've been using for years and years, and it's really tough to replicate that at home. But today I'm showing you a quick little trick where you use some liquid smoke to kind of replicate that smoky flavor. Give this one last taste to make sure you got your flavors just right. And once you do, you can set that aside and we're going to move on to prepping our shrimp. All right, so we talked about what I do like about takeout lo mein. What I don't like is those tiny little shrimp that they give you that don't have any color or flavor. Today, we're going to change that. And we're getting started with these extra large shrimp. Grab whatever you can find at the grocery store, though, guys. Whatever's fresh is always best. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how to peel and devein the shrimp. All you have to do is pinch the tail and pull that to remove it, and then you can pull off the remainder of the shell. Should be only two movements. Might take a little practice, but you'll get the hang of it. Now, my friends, there are two veins in the shrimp the one on top is the one that you want to remove. That is the intestines. You want to get rid of that. So that's what we're going to do right here. Just take a nice sharp knife and cut down the back of the shrimp. And then we're going to remove that vein like you see right here. The vein on the underside of the shrimp is not the intestines. So there's no real reason to remove it, but you can if you want to. So once you have your shrimp deveined nicely and peeled, we're going to add them to a mixing bowl and wash them with some cold water just to make sure we get rid of everything that we don't want to have on the shrimp when it's time to cook it. So just fill that bowl with some water, get in there with your hands, move them around, make sure they're nice and clean. After that, it's important to dry the shrimp as well because shrimp will absorb that moisture and that moisture will prevent the shrimp from getting nice color. So it's important to dry them. So we're gonna use some paper towels here, just lay the shrimp out on the paper towels, make sure that there's an even layer. 
Take some more paper towels, press down on top, and just dry them to the best of your ability. These few extra small steps make a huge difference in the overall recipe, so please take a quick second to make sure you clean and dry your shrimp. Once that's done, it's time to season them up. You can use whatever seasoning blend you like or just a little salt and pepper. Me, I'm using my all-purpose seasoning, which is basically a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, plus a few additional spices. Use whatever seasoning blend you enjoy and get in there with your hands to make sure that the seasoning is evenly distributed across the shrimp. And now, my friends, it's time for another tip. Depending on where you live in the country, it might be hard to find good quality lo mein noodles. If you can't find them, a great substitute is Italian spaghetti noodles. Make sure you boil them to package instructions and always salt your pasta water and now it's time to fire up the wok we're going in with one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of avocado oil the butter is there for flavor the avocado oil is there to ensure the butter does not burn we're going to add our seasoned shrimp to that wok over medium heat and develop some beautiful color we want to cook them about three-fourths of the way and then we're going to remove them the shrimp will finish cooking when we add everything into our lo mein. And the best part about this technique is you're leaving behind all that delicious flavor and fond at the bottom of the wok that's gonna help flavor these vegetables that we're about to add right now. We're gonna increase the heat to medium high. We're gonna toss all those veggies into our wok and give them a toss and all that flavor. Lo mein is really the perfect weeknight meal. It comes together in less than 30 minutes. It's a one pot meal, pretty easy cleanup, and you can use whatever you have in the refrigerator with the vegetables, any protein you wanna add. You could substitute chicken for the shrimp. Really do whatever you wanna do. Once those vegetables have cooked down, gotten tender and caramelized a bit, we're gonna go ahead and strain and add the spaghetti noodles. Once you've tossed them around, we're going to add that sauce, and that's when everything is really going to come to life. Toss that around. Make sure that the noodles are well coated in that delicious sauce that we made. Now is a great time to taste and adjust for seasoning if you need to, and then we're going to add those shrimp back to the party. Give them a toss as well. Allow them a minute or two to finish cooking. And my friends, you have yourselves a fantastic pot or wok of lo mein. We're gonna add some fresh chopped green onion for a pop of color and a little additional flavor, cause why the hell not? There we go. And now my friends, it's about time to plate this up and get in there for a taste test. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. We plated this up in a bowl. You could add some rice to this if you want to or eat it straight like this. A fantastic meal prep option. I need some chopsticks so I can get in here for a taste test. Look at how beautiful and plump those shrimp look in comparison to this takeout lo mein that we got right there. Ours is definitely looking good. Going in for the taste test. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you give your boy a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.